Despite countless acts of heroism during World War II, no black servicemen had yet received the Medal of Honor. That terrible injustice was finally rectified when seven African Americans were recognized for their valor. These heroes distinguished themselves in another almost unique way. In the tradition of African Americans who have fought for our nation as far back as Bunker Hill, they were prepared to sacrifice everything for freedom, even though freedom's fullness was denied to them. President Bill Clinton. The honorees included Private George Watson, who gave his life rescuing soldiers aboard the Dutch steamer Jacob when it was attacked by Japanese bombers. First Lieutenant John Fox was killed the day after Christmas, stopping a Nazi advance in Italy. Staff Sergeant Reuben Rivers was recognized for leading the way in France. Major Charles Thomas stormed a village five miles from the German border. He later remarked, I was sent to draw enemy fire, but I didn't mean to draw that much. Staff Sergeant Edward Carter, despite being shot five times, managed to kill six of his attackers and capture the other two before returning to his unit. Private First Class Willie James lost his life trying to save his wounded platoon leader. Second Lieutenant Vernon J. Baker destroyed multiple German positions, then covered the evacuation of his company's wounded by drawing the enemy's bullets. He was the only man who lived long enough to attend the ceremony. As a black soldier, I fought a war on two sides. I was an angry young man, and all my soldiers were angry. But we had a job to do, and we did it. Medal of Honor recipient, Vernon Baker. 